Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sierra. And anyways, today's video is going to be me getting ready and doing this look. Wing and the little kind of smoked out in the inner corner. It's very glowy skin. So it's just gonna be a voiceover of me getting ready. So if you like how this look turned out and are interested in how I am using my Wet n Wild Concealer. I think it's in Fair. And I'm putting that all over my lids. And I'm using my Real Techniques brush to blend it out. And I'm blending it up to my eyebrow. This will give it a really good base to help the colors pop since we have a lighter base to start off with. And now I'm going to use the Morphe and James Charles Mini Palette. And I'm using the shade Playground. That is the only shade I use the entire look. And I'm starting off in my inner corner with the Morphe Pencil Brush. And I'll be mapping out where I want to put the rest of the shadow. And I'll leave a more detailed description of all the products and the shade of the products in the description box for you guys. And I actually found inspiration for this look from a Pinterest photo. It was actually in yellow, but I wanted to do blue. And the look was a lot thinner than what I'm making it, but since I have hooded eyes, you know, you have to make accommodations for your eye shape. And this shade Playground, I was really surprised with it. It is very vibrant. It packs on very nicely. You don't get that patchiness with some kind of vibrant colors like in other palettes I've used. And it's kind of like a Cleopatra inspired cat eye also. So I really liked how this turned out. And then I'm just going back in with that Wet n Wild concealer and a concealer flat head brush to kind of carve out the top to make it look more precise and more put together. And if you guys have any tips on how to kind of blend out that line right above the blue so it doesn't look like a obvious concealer line, please let me know. That was probably the only thing I kind of had an issue with, so that's why I went in with a wet wipe trying to rid the excess because I wanted a precise, nice line, not a blended out line. And now I'm going in with the Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation. I really like this foundation. It is kind of like medium to full coverage, but it also feels like you're not wearing anything, so that's my favorite thing about it. It's like full coverage, but still feels like skin. And we are blending out with another Real Techniques brush. Again, I will leave the brush names, all the shadows of all the products and colors that I used in the description box below. And I'm going in with my Morphe Full Coverage Concealer. Ever since I got this at my last haul video, I've been using it every day. It is definitely very full coverage and only $9. So I'm liking that very much. And we are going in with our Marc Jacobs Coconut Tantastic Fantastic bronzer. I really like this bronzer. I've been trying to use it a lot just because it is a big pan and I don't want anything to go to waste. So we're just doing a little contour, nothing too crazy, just because I want to keep the focus more on the eyes. So I guess it's more of a little bronzer. And then I'm using a luxe brush to contour my nose. And this is something I've been doing lately to kind of help plump my lips. While I'm doing my makeup, I put on that Too Faced Lip Injections Gloss and I let it sit there. And I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. And I really like how this powder makes my makeup look after and it makes my skin feel very soft. 
I'm gonna just wipe that away with just a regular e.l.f. blush brush. That is a tongue twister, you guys. And then I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Highlighting Liquid Drops, and I really wanted to kind of make this more all about the eyes and then like really glowy skin. And this is probably one of the most high pigmented extra highlighters I have, so that's why I used this one. And I really liked how the way it turned out. And lately when I do it on the cheeks, I have been dragging it kind of down to the center of my cheek instead of just stopping at the cheekbone. So I like that look now. As you see, I bring it down further, kind of the center of my cheeks. And then we're just going in with my tried and true L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. And we're just putting that on the bottom lashes and then I will come back and I will have my falsies on from the brand Kiss. So yeah, this was a quick short video and I hope you guys like it. It's, it was pretty fun to create. So thank you. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe. I'm having a huge giveaway at a thousand subscribers, so stay tuned.